so today in this video we are going to talk about reporting in microsoft dynamics 365 <clears throat> microsoft provides us a feature of reporting wizard this reporting wizard is nothing but a tool which help us to create and modify reports quickly and easily we do not need to have a coding knowledge or any complex knowledge of making the, the reports and all there are different kinds of tools available like um, Power BI, SSRS, Advanced Fine Charts and Reports. There are so many tools which we can use to make reporting. But today we are only going to talk about Reporting Wizard, which is available uh, by default in Dynamics 365. So this, if, if I have to show you, see, uh, if you have a lot of data uh, like in the opportunity or lead or account uh, and you want to make uh, uh, make a report uh, in a table format or in a pie chart or in line, ch line chart or different kind there are so many options if I have to show you an example see this is a, just a basic report if I uh, this one is with a pie chart the same data can be represented in the pie chart in line chart in horizontal bar graph vertical bar graph we have so many options provided by Microsoft so this reporting wizard can be used in both the system entities system entity means which is which, is, which are already existing like opportunity lead accounts contacts uh, case and blah blah or if you want to uh, use it for the custom entity that is also possible so in order to see the reporting wizard first you have to open your environment and if you see on the left side you'll be able to see reporting options here you can see under the tools reporting is available if not, not here then you can also go to the advanced setting and under the advanced setting under the tools you will see this reporting options it depends upon your environment whether you have this uh, uh, security privilege or not now coming to the report see uh, these are already these are the reports which are already provided by the microsoft if you are suppose if i have to show this account distribution just click on this and uh, we'll get an option to run report so once you run report it will give you an interface with a lot of data in the form of tables, pie charts, whatever you, it's it's your wish. You can make it in any form. So um, it will take some time. See, this is account filtration. This is da -da -da -da. there are so many options. So now we are going to see how to create a normal like in a table format like this one, or we can how we can make in a pie chart or tabular form. All those things we are going to see now. <clears throat> So this reporting wizard it can be used to modify the existing report as well simply if you see here this account distribution uh, report is there so simply you have to select it and go in the edit one and you can uh, make a copy of this report or you can edit it modify it whatever you want you can do simply you have to select it and click on this edit button and the further it will uh, the wizard itself will guide you through the steps how to create or how to modify it so overall if we have to say uh, then this reporting wizard this is a useful tool for creating and modifying reports quickly and, and in an easy way it is especially useful for the users who are not familiar with the uh, sql server reporting services which is like uh, ssrs or power bi and other other, other tools <clears throat> if i have to talk we have ssrs yeah, that ssrs uh, SSRS is a very powerful reporting tool. This is also developed by Microsoft only. The main sorry, the main uh, difference between uh, this no, uh, this Dynamics 365 reporting wizard and SSRS is that SSRS can be used to create reports from various data sources like SQL Server, Oracle, Excel, and other other things. But this reporting wizard, sorry, this one will only be used within the CRM. And also it will uh, this SSRS allows to create deploy and manage reports those are the if I have to talk about the differences just the major differences this this report uh, which we are going to talk about right now is very easy to use but if I have to but the SSRS we need to have the technical knowledge of coding and some other the how to use for the SSRS we we also should have knowledge about SQL server SQL Server's data tool SSDT to make those reports. We need to have the data source. We need to connect it. Reporting server. There are a lot of things which we need, which we should be aware of in order to create SSRS. This is mostly used to make report of a comp whenever we have a lot of data and it's complex scenarios. That time we, we are going to use SSRS. 
I'll cover this SSRSS in next video, but in this video, I'm just going to talk about the basic reporting services. So, um, see this reporting by default, or whenever you create a report, it will only be visible to the author. Like if I am creating it, uh, it would be only visible to me, not to the other people in the organization. So in order to make it visible, you have the option to share it. You can just click on the share button and here you will get the option. You will get the option whom, whomever you want to share, he will be able to see it. Also, you can just edit it and make it to what do you call that. You can share it to the whole organization and anyone within the organization will be able to see it. Make sure you have the system admin security role in order to make this reporting. Now coming to let's create a report. Just sorry, not on the edit. Come to the reporting part. Click on the new button here. And we are going to create two different reports. One the normal one and one with the pie chart and all. So let's give dynamics power. And uh, you just have to click on the report wizard here. Start. See, you have the option to start from an existing report as well. So if you click on this, you can just select any existing uh, report like uh, this account distribution activities and all, and you can just modify that one or copy that one. But I'm going to create a new one. So click on the new, click on next, the report name, dynamics power opportunity. Here we'll get an option to select for which entity you want to make this report. So in the primary record type, see uh, either you can choose account activities, address, whatever. I'm just going to choose, go with the opportunities, opportunities here. Okay. And click on next. Uh, now see this is one of the important feature here now here we'll get the option suppose you have the criteria you want to see the opportunity which are created within the specific date like within uh, April 15 to April 30 or which are active or which starts with the name ABC XYZ whatever you can give your filter criteria here if I have to give select uh, account which equals to Mm -hmm. you can give any name here or just leave this one okay Fabicom. and uh, for other criteria we can give the actual revenue equals or is less than is less than 5000 so you can give all your filter criteria here and it will work it will uh, the report will only be showing for whichever is containing this criteria whichever is fulfilling this criteria but as of now we are just going to ignore this and we'll see go with all opportunities click on next now this is uh, this is just easy way like we just have to drag and drop the field whichever you want to add so click here on add column and uh, i'm going to select the topic and here you can select the you can choose your column width as well you, if you want 100 pixel 200 whatever you can select it Click on OK. Uh, another field, if I have to choose, let's go with the account. And you'll also be able to see the data type. Account is a lookup. Another one was a single line text, multiple line text, all those things. And the schema name also will be visible here. If you have the same, like sometime maybe we are having uh, two fields with the same name. So just in order to differentiate between them, we uh, here we, can, we have to sell, see this logical name click on ok and uh, let's go with the actual revenue we can add as many uh, fields you want uh, we'll go with the owner okay so here right now we're having a topic contact actual revenue owner now in case if you want to remove any of them then here you just have to click on the remove option suppose uh, i'm just adding this one actual close date and now i have to remove it then just go and remove okay done if you want to add grouping and all you just have to add click on this one if you want to suppose if you want the reporting to start from topic or you want to sort it according to the contact then just 
configure sorting and here you'll be able to see all the fields which you have added so i want to sort it according to topic and it should be in the ascending order same thing here changing property that 100 pixel 200 pixel you can select it from here if you want to move, move it uh, left right and all that those things you can do from here now these four parts i have done let's go on the next here you can see currently it is showing table only now if i want it to you can also go for the line chart pie chart and all in order one criteria for pie chart and line chart is that it should be having some number suppose if you are only if you have selected topic name and job title email then you cannot create pie chart so here i have selected the budget or actual revenue that's why this this one is enabled so we'll go with the uh, let's see what we have in the chart and table we have vertical bar chart horizontal line chart pie chart okay we'll see it later first we'll go with the table type click on next dynamics power next and uh, just finish it finish off okay now our report is ready so either you can just click on the run report here or you can come here uh, and select your report and click on the run report so i'll just go start to run the report from here mm, now you can see these are the topics and this is uh, like in sorted in ascending order these are the contacts actual revenue owner all these fields are here here also we have the options to download this uh, report if you come here uh, we have different formats you can either download in word excel powerpoint according to your wish so in order to download let's go with the word and here we have and open it so same way you can download in any other format according to your requirement now this is uh, this is the normal one this is done now i'm going to just edit the same report it was dynamics power right that i'm going to edit this report and i'm going to make it like a in, in the form of pie chart so click on edit one and uh, report wizard start an existing okay modify overwrite next 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 everything let it be same i just want to change the layout so go on select on chart and table click on next and here we'll just select the pie chart next actually uh, like what are the values you are you want to select okay actual revenue so data levels fine okay this is also done now let's run the report and check if it's having any data it will obviously show if it's not having any data then it should be blank okay so here you can see uh, this is pie chart they have uh, given a detail here in the table as well what are the names and all so this is pie chart let's close it and let's check with again modify it and see the tabular form next next uh, you can uh, go through the remaining option on your own also all are kind of same only so we'll go with the horizontal by chart next next finish so you do not have to publish it you once you click on the finish this report will be updated so run the report Okay. Uh, now you can see this is horizontal bar chart in the same way you can uh, try for others as well now here we have the option of accents as well here so if you click on the accents here we have uh, different option of sharing if you want to share with any of your team members you can just click on sharing and you'll be getting the options to select the team members assign it to someone download report email a link all this you can do from here so just save and close 
so this is the basic uh, basic uh, dynamic sorry basic report of dynamic 365 it has so many limitations so in order to overcome that we can use other a reporting tool as well like ssrs which i'll be covering in the next video this ssrs they offer advanced customization but for that we need to have knowledge about uh, sql server we should be aware about the how to connect the data source in the sql server that sql server data tool we should be familiar with all those things and this uh, uh, this reporting uh, uh, currently this one is only available in the cloud but if we talk about SSRS, SQL Server Reporting Service, they can be deployed on on-premise version as well. And they are available in the cloud also. This, this reporting, this can be integrated with other Dynamics 365 features which are existing here. But SSRS can be integrated with other technologies also. Like we have SharePoint, we have Power BI. With that also we can integrate it. So overall, uh, this Dynamics 365 reporting wizard, it is kind of simpler tool that is best suited for creating the basic reports. But while, uh, sorry, while SSRS, that's a more powerful tool, which we can use for advanced customization and uh, it is better suited for creating complex report. So this is all about uh, reporting uh, if you have if you want to share it or anything you can just select it and share it assign it or run report anything now more on this we'll be talking in the next video about uh, ssrs till then bye bye thank you